NATO is not doing the job perfectly. We appreciate what they are doing, but at the same time, our people are killing every day in many of our cities in the west part of, of Libya. Everybody knows what's going on on Nusrata for weeks and weeks, and uh, on the uh, western mountains, and on Zawiya, and on Zwara. So the main point here is protecting civilians. So what can they do, though? If tanks are being hidden in civilian areas, they can't hit those tanks? For, I, I recall days ago that for 72 hours it was not even a single attack on the Gaddafi troops. While in that same time they hit the revolutionary forces twice. Okay, so, so, so that's make our people very angry about the NATO and we'd like to see really implement completely and swiftly uh, the Security Council resolution and we hope that we can tell the people directly today this is our main concern now. You're hoping to persuade them that the rebels should be armed as well. How on earth are you going to convince them of that? That's our right. That's human rights, as a matter of fact. When Why you should see they be people, armed? Why do I, they need to be something. When you see that our youth are fighting with a very primitive uh, uh, weapons, uh, using even a civilian cars to move from place to place, and facing T-72 T tanks and T-92 tanks, and they are uh, grabbed uh, missiles, and uh, with, with the, this, is the, this is a human right issue. If you would like our people to, to protect themselves and protect their families and fight these military machines, they have to have at least the minimum arms and ammunition. Nobody's doing this right now. You're going to, uh, as part of a delegation to America, what are you hoping to achieve there? We'd like to meet uh, the, some Congress uh, leader. This is very essential. I think we have to explain ourselves clearly uh, to the other uh, branch uh, uh, of the um, American uh, system. And we hope to see uh, uh, Kerry and uh, McCain. What are you hoping people. for? More diplomatic moves or more money or what? No, we're not asking for anything uh, 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 particularly from, from, from the Congress, but we'd like them to, uh, to know better about our situation, to know better about what's going on in Libya. We might invite them to come over and see on the ground what, what the real life is uh, in Libya. And, you know, this is very important uh, so, so they can support us with the administration. And what about... Kusa, any chance of doing any talks with him? What role can he play? No, because we did not invite him here. He's not part of our delegation. We know very well that he uh, uh, left uh, his post on the, on the regime, but does not lead automatically to join the revolution. Uh, some people who have the right, uh, we encourage them to leave the regime, but that not means, means that they are part of us. Uh, and this is because of the uh, that we, we have uh, with uh, Mr. Musakos and others and before we settle this history, the issues of human rights and other things, uh, we are not willing to, uh, to talk with, with anybody.